Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. And boy, is it ever. This is AVP. And actually, I knew this was going to work today. No, no chance this wasn't going to work today. And I said in the room that there was no reason to even look at anything else. And that was correct. So beautiful, 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 beautiful gap in AVP. Beautiful move. Look at the size of this bar here. High of the bar today is 1413, low is 1322. Dream target, this is 1257. I'm all out of this. I, I don't think it gets there today to the dream target, but it could. Anything's possible. In a beautiful, fabulous, beautiful gap, something could get to the dream target. You never know. I think 1310, $13, those are realistic numbers for this today, but it's still a massive bar for this chart. And actually, if this breaks here, well, let's look at this. It actually could get down in the 12s. If this breaks here in 50, in before 12 o'clock, it breaks low the day before 12 o'clock, this could do it. Actually, this is setting up here again right now. I did call it back here, 32 by 55. This held. Then I called it again here, 36 by 55. This is a late train. Late train, under 32 is the 15-minute. Again, I'm not doing this. Once I make my money in the morning, I typically don't go back into a stock again if I've made my goal for the day. It's just that would be piggish. But you could redo this if you want to. And if you didn't do it at all, you could still do it here. It's a fabulous, beautiful, wonderful gap. And I really, really, really just love doing something that I know is going to work and I just have 100% conviction. I was talking about this this morning. I'm just like, gosh, you know, I may I should just like quadruple my risk and just take every trade that I know absolutely no chance, no chance of failure, none, okay? And there was no chance that this was going to fail today. I didn't. So here's the setup. Stock triggered here, dropped, dropped, broke, dropped, broke, rallied back. Could have taken more here if you wanted to. There was a beautiful ad here. Actually, this gave you a lot of places to take it, to take it, to take it, to take it. Dropped, broke again. Could have even taken more here. This is really killing your price, though. If you have it above 14, this kind of screws up the price. But again, 100% conviction, stop at the right place. Wanted to give it enough room because this was kind of wiggly jiggly here with the tails. You can't really tell here now this is a flat bar. And this bar is flat too, but this hit fast. And this bar is flat too, but this did this fast. Everything worked today. This is all fast, very fast goings on in here. But again, the nice sell off that happened came down, broke, broke, and fell off the planet into basically 10 o'clock. Nice here. Here's what it is. Again, the money move. The money move in the stock happens in the first 30 minutes of the day, and you're done. That's it. You can go back to bed. You can go to the pool. You can go golfing. You can do whatever you want. Go shopping, get a massage, go to the gym. But if you really want to do another trade in this, or you really, really believe that it's going to go to the dream target, which is 12 something, you could stay in it. I don't think it makes sense if the target's 13, 10, or 13 to stay in it to give back a possible rally of 30, 40 cents to make 10. That doesn't make sense. So if you're in this and you're looking to get 13 and it's around 13, 20, you want to make 20 more cents, but you can't get back 20 to make 20. You can't back, get back 30 to make 20. That doesn't make any sense. And that's pretty much what you would have done here. Now, now it looks like it's scooping around again here now, but what if it wasn't? What if it was over? Here, this is going to, here, this is doing again. It's setting up again. It's going to hit 32. Yeah, this is going to break any low. Yeah, this will go down to 13. Well, yeah, 11.07. Jeez Louise, this could actually go in the 12s today. Hmm. I'm not going to redo it, but this, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this now, and it's confirming that it's not going higher. See, the stock broke, fell off the planet, rallied a little bit, some short covering here, fell in the 15 minute, came down here, touched this, booped over the high, but still held. Held very, very weak. Even this is a bearish bar. This is a bearish bar. This is a bearish bar. These are bearish bars. Stops as the day goes on are bigger than they are in the morning typically. But actually, this is pretty good. I mean, this is a good entry here for a 15-minute chart. It's actually beautiful. And you're getting the nice April moving average squishing down, the 20 squishing down. Everything looks great in this. And this is a great gap. And this is one of the gaps that's just perfect. So everyone had a good day today. Everyone did it. It was a great day. Actually, somebody said they got filled late. Ed, Ed said he got filled late, past the price, terrible price in the fill, and he still had an enormous comma day, and that's terrific. When you get filled in something late, if you either press it too late, you go, oh, and you press it too late or something, if something like that happens, or you have slippage, okay, or something, then you can always back it off. You can always just back it off. I mean, you're immediately up in the train here. I said this. I said it in the room. 
you're immediately up as soon as it hits. And then it fell down here. You could have just taken some out. You could have quickly taken some out, get the profit in the extra you took, then put the stop back at the right place and stay with it for the rest. And actually, if you did that, you still could have even added back here. So really nice trade in AVP is a stock swish show play of the day. We'll just keep on keeping on here. Great start to May. May 1st, what a wonderful way to start the month of May. Earnings season all this month is the time to make money. It's the time to do it. It's a great time to be in the Stock Swiss Show Live trading room. It's a great time to trade gaps. It's a great time to be alive. Beautiful, beautiful spring. If the sun ever shines here again in New York City, <laughs> it's been raining cats and dogs for the last two days. But uh, really, really looking forward to the Kentucky Derby this weekend and a fantastic trading month in March. The next Golden Gap class is March, no, it's May. It's May 10th and 11th, and I'm actually doing a special weekday class. I'm only gonna do it one time this year. For those of you, the people that wanna do the Gap class have been following me for a long time. I've never done a weekday class ever, and I always do it on the weekends, and I always will do it on the weekends, but I'm gonna do one class this year, May 19th, 20th, and 21st, from 12 to five, three days in a row, and then live trading in the morning. If you want to do the gap class on a weekday, if you can't ever do it on the weekend, now's your one chance, one chance to do it on a weekday. This month, I'm doing two classes, May 10th and 11th, and May 19th, 20th, and 21st. I'm running a special till tomorrow. It expires tomorrow by midnight. If you want to do one of the gap classes in May, you get two months free in the live trading room if you sign up for the early bird special, which is by deadline tomorrow. That means you have to sign up and register and pay for the class by tomorrow at midnight. You could do the class in May or June or any time and still get the two months free in the room. It's up to you. Anyways, contact me if you'd like more information. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for being here.